what's up gang back with another video as you can see we're at the house i just got off work but you know i thought about y'all i said man listen man i gotta keep on keeping this content going man so i'm tired even though i'm tired i'm tired i'm tired i just literally got work probably about like an hour ago took me a shower and i say a lot about an hour and a half ago but i took my shower i ate you know what i mean and you know hey talk with the wife um talk with baby empress but i'm finna go back and talk to baby empress and it's back to talk to the wife after i get through with this video but now nah, now nah, for real for real before i get into the, actually get into the video like come subscribe man because y'all know i'm the little engine that could one day i'm gonna get there to the point where i have watch hours views you know and my content is not going to always be about cars so y'all need to get ready prepare yourself for the switch up because it's only so much you can do with cars and as you can see the title of my video um why i'm never getting rid of my m6 i can only do but so much to this m6 before i lose content so therefore i got to switch the game up but that's all a different topic man just know Stay tuned, man, and continue watching my content, man, because guess what? My content might help you make a million dollars one day. You never know, man, because I'm going to give you the game. I'm not going to be like the rest of these folk, man. You got to pay for this, pay for that. Oh, you got to pay to play? Nah, you ain't got to pay to play with me, man. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, man, and continue watching my intro, which I'm going to get a new intro soon. So, but until then, watch this one. Okay, man, why I would never get rid of my M6? Bottom line is, first and foremost, I love the car. I love how it drives. I love how it's just, it's just a, it's just a great, it's just a great looking car. The B of 2014, how many years that is? That's, that is six, that's nine years old. To be nine years old, this car most definitely looks very modern. Modern. Y'all can't tell me it don't look modern. But anyway, that's the first and foremost, man. It's a great looking car. It's a it's probably one of the best drive, best handling car I've ever driven in my life. Because I've never driven a Porsche. And I have a friend of mine, he says the Porsche is probably his he he's a BMW owner also. But he says that the Porsche. It's just a different type of beast when it comes to handling. Well, track car, track wise, you know, all that, man. Anyway, that's first and foremost. Number two, and this is, I think this might top the first one. The, the, this might top the first one, man. Number two is, I don't spend too much money on this car. When I tell you, man, listen, I'm finna break it all down to you. Okay, this front lip right here, that was $1,200. Yeah, this, this carbon fiber front look, excuse dirt, but this carbon fiber front lip was $1,200. And if y'all hear some noise, that's it, that is the turbos cooling down. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. That was $1,200. Hold on, get me wrong. I think I'm wrong about that. Hold on. Was that $1,200? already a lot that was eight hundred dollars that was eight hundred dollars the side skirts eight hundred dollars which i gotta fix because one of them is i think is one of them is falling off so i had to fix it probably this weekend so i probably ain't gonna be driving it for a good lament until i'm able to get around to fixing it that was eight hundred dollars so we finna add it up what that's eight hundred plus eight hundred that's sixteen hundred then we get back to the rear diffuser that alone that alone was 1200 that was 1200 so that's 16 plus 1200 that's 2800 dollars 2800 dollars then i bought an exhaust system by valtronic taste i like quality 
and quality nine out of ten means expensive the gold edition costing me forty five hundred dollars so we're at that's, that's eight that's 16 plus 12 that's 28 plus 4500 i ain't even including tax i just rounded it off because i know the tax was way more than 45 so 45 plus 28 that's uh that's 7300 7300 dollars 7300 Now, I just got the stage two tuning. That was 5,100, I believe. That's 70, I said 73, 7,300 plus 51, that's 12,4. That's $12,400. Then I purchased some rims for my M6 because one of my, my rims from the old uh, set was damaged so instead of me getting the rim fixed and the reason why I did not get the rim fixed is because I wanted my own identity when it comes to my rims these rims are similar to the last setup but they are different slightly different and I just wanted to make it mine you know what I'm saying so the rims costed me I want to say it costed me $2,500 so $2,500 plus $12,400, that is $14,900, $14,900, so you might as well say $15,000. I have $15,000 worth of mods in this car. And the thing is, I ain't done yet because I haven't even told you what I have on the way. I have something on the way that costed me another $1,600. So, matter of fact, after taxes, I'm, I can tell you about the tax. I just recently purchased this. It cost me like 18 something. So, 18 plus 15, that is 16, maybe I would say 17,000. $17,000 worth of mods. And you think I'm finna get rid of this car. Then, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I first purchased the car, I think, what it was like, I got a video on this. The first, what, two months of me, having the car or three months before me having the car i had to change my spark plugs and my uh my cores that cost me another two thousand dollars so i'm almost at 20k 20k of things with this car mods and problems you know what i'm saying mods and problems i ain't even tell y'all <laughs> i ain't even tell y'all man okay after i got the stage two tuning right <laughs> like I really like I said man I understand why people have a have a uh they have a uh, stigma about BMWs because I'm like I swear every time I cut my car on I hear is ding ding <laughs> and another one well, yeah y'all seen that real uh it has uh what that man name is uh DJ Khaled's voiceover Every time uh, it's like a uh, a problem that pops up on the on a BMW, you say ding and another one, ding and another one. But as you can see, what does that say? It says parking brake malfunction. Parking brake malfunction. It says parking brake malfunction. Now. That's this right here. That's that right there. I the, the 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 day after, I'm talking about the day after I drive my car home from Eurofit. I cop my car before I even hit the power button. I open my car and that said ding. I said, huh? It was already on the screen. It said said um it said uh Parking brake malfunction. I was like, what? What? So I'm so so immediately, 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 I call your fit. Of course they says, well, you know, the tune, the tune had nothing to do with the to do with the parking brake malfunction. So I'm like, so hypothetic, not hypothetically. So you telling me coincidentally, 
when I stage two my M6, this notification pops up. If you can't tell me something, man, tell me something, man. Cause ain't no way. I'm talking about, ain't no way. So I go get the quote for that. You know what I'm saying? And my, my guy, he says, well, you know, we have to look into it and we have to see what's going on. So I said, is it an easy fix? That's what I want to know. Is it an easy fix? Is it a cheap fix? Quick fix? He said, well, you know, nothing about BMW is cheap. <laughs> so I'm like, well, 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 I think I might just park my car in the garage until I'm ready to get it fixed. Because right now, I got to get to work, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm working. Like, I'm, I'm a working man. Like, so... At the end of the day, man, look, this is just pleasure. But when I pull my car out, I want to have to, every time I pull my car up, I hear a ding. That's not what I'm trying to, that's not what I want. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear a ding every time I pull my car out. But, hey, man, listen, it happens. It happens. Will I sell it? No. And even if I would sell it, I would definitely not sell it to no dealership. <laughs> they not gonna give me the money for it. So they like, why would I do that? But I'm not selling my car. Like, no, 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 no. If anything, I'll pay the car off and I will get me another car. But until then, this car ain't gonna be paid off until in about three, about three years, three, four years. And, and by then I'm out of content, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, something gotta give. But you know, my my channel, man, is just not, my channel is really a family channel, man. I just wanna let y'all guys, man, know, man, you gotta keep God first, man. You gotta keep God first. And my channel is based and strengthened upon the most high, Jesus Christ. So if y'all don't know, now you know. At the end of the day, man, cars come last before anything. I tell y'all that, man, cause family, you know what I'm saying? Family come after God. So at the end of the day, man, there you have it. Will I ever sell my M6? No. <laughs> Can anybody offer me any type of money to buy my M6? No. If they said I can trade my M6 for an M8 without owing nothing, will I make that trade? No. <laughs> I won't, you know what I'm saying? Because it takes the thrill out of everything, man. You know what I'm saying? On real talk, man, it just, <laughs> why would you trade? If you been building on something, you have been, You've been putting your blood, sweat, and tears in something, and you've been working hard to obtain and working hard to, you know what I'm saying, to buy these parts for this car. It becomes another member of the family. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, at the end of the day, listen, you finna, I'll forget everything out of you. I'm not about to just sit here and just have you sitting up here and just to give you away. No, man, no, man. If I can't figure out a way to have both cars, I'm not finna trade in this car for an M8. Even though the M8 is newer, I can care less. Cause majority of M8s that's in my range that I can afford, they have about 30,000 miles on it. At least 30,000 miles on it. And my car has 30,000 miles on it. So at the end of the day, I'm straight. <laughs> my car has 30,000 miles on it and it's nine years old. So at the end of the day, I'm straight. I'm cool, man. But like I said, man, this is gonna be a short video. Like, comment, subscribe. Keep God first, family second, and then cars, I'm out.